Mr. Anthony, um, it's so nice. The kitchen segment, I just pray. I have something to eat at the end of the segment. <laughs> um, welcome to your poetic interlude on the weekend show. My name is Emeka Zerumba, and I have with me um, a honorable, he's aspiring for a position, honorable Lukman Salahuddin. It's a pleasure having you. My name is Honorable Salahuddin Lukman, a PDP candidate for State House of Assembly, Kwara State. Yeah, and he's going to be reading for us from an ether daffodil some poems from the book. So you can start reading, Mr. Salate. All right. I think we we'll, this one will be reading page six. Six. Yes. Is Kipio and Aniba. Hani yes. One day, I dreamt that we massacre ourselves. You were hunger, I was poverty. You were sickness, I was neglect. You were fire, that raised down. Raging truth. This is the time for the truth of the Trojan us. You cannot give me my freedom and I cannot settle for less. As you destroy, so also will I destroy. As you take no hostage, I will take no prisoners. One day, we will consume by the flash of lightning of the skies. Thunder strokes and butter with magnitude of electrons. But I was not to go out after so long. I will stay my arm if you give me no societal perceptibility. And it was justice or we were all dead. It is a justice or there can never be peace. You are the tallest mountain that they said no one could climb. Now I have smashed your mountain to ashes. Then we read from the 12. 12. The power, types of power of thoughts. There, there is this power of thought that invoke words. There is the type of power of thought that invoke poverty. There is the type of power of thought that invoke sources. There is the type of power of thought that invoke sources. There is this power of thought that invoke value. There's this type of power of thought that brings freedom. There's this type of power of thought that brings slavery. There's no paradigm for penalize or post penalism. But there are no penalty for pursuing your dreams. There's this type of power of thought that brings unity. There's this type of power of thought that brings war. There's this power of thought that brings happiness. So as there's this power of thought that brings sadness. In our frame of thought is where we were conceived. It is what we perceive as real that becomes factual. Sources build up from the convention of mind. Our thoughts and desires soon become our factualism. There is this type of power of thought that can move the world. There is also a timid assailant of queer. There is this power of thought that can never compromise. There is also a power of thought that imbued courage. Oh, that's very nice, sir. Can you? This is the last one we're going to do. So, please, sir, can you be more audible because we want to hear you. Um, the quest for world peace. The quest for world peace. Yes. We are together every drop of rain. We need to create a safer world, a society where the future of our children are safe. We need to raise discussion about the world peace, the best form of diplomacy in conflict resolution. We need to reach out to others in our societies. Other broken, other odds, other sick, other weak. We need to build for ourselves a tower of unity by reaching out to who those whom seems hopeless. Our children must play together without racial embargoes. A good society must give equal rights to even the disabled, knowing that they needed our arms for support. In a world so restricted from tolerance and goodwill, we are one nation of the world. We are one people culminated into varieties. We are one light from different candles. And we are one sun from different okay. days. Okay. Okay. You, you were talking about um, the quest for world peace and the type of power of the thought. So what kind of power, uh, type of power of thought made you to contest as a young man like this that people not want to consider but what made you um, run for office sir uh, as a young man who have a very strong conviction in this country called nigeria i believe as young people the 
future consensus more than those the elite in power today. And as a young man, we can't continue to complain and lament about the system we don't like. But we must make effort as one of those young people who are thoughtful that Nigeria can be great and be greater for all of us to benefit. I believe those things we have seen that is not done right. Let us give that inspiring spirit of helping our leaders to put things in proper perspective. The elders have the experience, but the young ones have the innovation and the energy to make the system work better. These are the thoughts that actually inspired me to run for office. And hopefully, if God gave me the power through the support of my people, surely it will make a difference. And Nigerians will know that the young people are really men well and they have a good thought about Nigeria. That's so lovely, sir. I, Honorable, I'm so happy that you came on the program. Thank you so much. Well, we've just been talking to Honorable Lukman Salahuddin. He's just been reading from this book and Ether Daffodil by Americans Remember. So please go out there and grab your copies. I just want to thank you so much. Stay tuned and don't go anywhere because we have more coming up for you on The Weekend Show.